Hi and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse, I'm Wally Graham. I'm at the 2023 RIU Explorers Conference in Fremantle, where I caught up with Alan Kelly, Executive Chairman of Miramar Resources. G'day Alan, welcome back to the Roadhouse. Yeah. It's always a pleasure. Uh, now, um, a few developments for um, Miramar at the moment, yeah. but in particular, just this week you released some uh, results from out of the Whale Shark project. Yep. Yep. Okay, that's uh, just one of many at the moment that you're yep. working on. Yep. But yeah, let's concentrate on that. Yep. What, what's going on there? So, a bit of background, Whale Shark is uh, located about 40 k's east of Onslow, so up in the Ashburton region. Um, it's a project that I worked on back in the 90s with Western Mining uh, and we were looking for iron oxide copper gold deposit, so something like an Ernest Henry or a Carapatina or a Prominent Hill or maybe an Olympic Dam, you know, if we're really, really lucky. Um, and so we picked that project up a couple of years ago, hadn't been much work done since uh, Western Mining days. Um, a couple of years ago we did some surface geochemistry, I identified some nice targets from the soil anomalies. Last year we did some air core drilling. Um, the thing with you know, other places where people are looking for iron oxide, copper gold, such as the Gawler Cratton, they're really deep, 500 metres, 800 metres, 900 metres of cover. At Onslow we've only got sort of 80 to 100 metres of cover. So we thought that we could potentially explore it with air core and the idea was to get an air core rig and just drill down to the top of the basement and take samples, almost like a subsurface sort of soil sample. And we did that last year and we got some good copper, silver, gold numbers, so all things that were related to ICG. And then normally what we do is we take a second sample at the bottom of the hole and we do a different technique on that with a few more elements to help us with geology and alteration and that. And so the numbers that we put out the other day uh, are those bottom of hole samples and we're getting very high copper, cobalt, silver, moly, rhenium, um, so things that are related, and also gold up to like 0.1 gram gold as well. So, you know, it's very encouraging to see that sort of geochem anomalism, and that looks very similar to things like Ernest Henry or E1 or the deposits in South Australia. Um, the other thing we got was we got information about alteration. So um, typically ICG deposits have like a big sodium footprint and then a smaller potassium footprint, and we're seeing that as well. So it's very encouraging, very shallow, um, early staged, but the, the key this year will be to finish that air core drilling and then do some deeper bedrock testing. All right. Well, they say well, the whale shark's the big sleeping majestic animal of the yeah. deep, so well uh, named, huh? you'll never know what might happen here. Yeah. But it, what is happening, or seems to be happening across your portfolio, is a yeah. development of an interesting suite of uh, commodities. Yeah, so, I mean, we, we started off, we've done a lot of work on our gold projects around Kalgoorlie. Um, we've had a fair bit of success with like air core drilling and some diamond drilling at Glandor last year as well. We've got a number of high grade, narrow gold hits there. Um, we've also got a, a, an interesting project at Langwell where there's potential for rare earths too. Um, and even our Bangamore stuff. We went there looking for nickel copper PGEs, but there's been a lot of rare earth discoveries around us as well. So, you know, we've, we've got a few irons in the fire. Um, we try to sort of keep them all progressing. Um, uh, but at, probably this year as well, we'll have to look at sort of rationalising some of those as well to, to focus in a bit. So if it, if it was up to me, it would be Gigi, Glandor and Whale Shark. Gigi and Glandor are the pretty sort of bread and butter gold plays in the eastern gold fields, whereas Whale Shark is that real big, you know, company maker opportunity. Yep. So. All right. Well, uh, as always, you know, we try to keep up with all the news flow that's coming through and uh, we'll be bringing all the news out, but make sure you keep in touch and... Uh, We'll catch up again soon. Okay, great. Thanks, Walt. Thank you.